Hi there, I hope you're well. In this week's video, I'll be taking a closer look at the Peanut 2 system from Intelligent Fixings. The Peanut 2 system is available from Axminster Tools and Machinery, and in the interests of transparency, Axminster has supplied this unit for review. I've not been paid to make this video or to say nice things about the product. I think I need an agent. Uh, Intelligent Fixings, the company behind the Peanut system, was uh, founded by furniture maker Luke Thompson, who is one half of Thompson Brothers, a bespoke maker, right here in London. Luke's served his time on the tools and at a portable bench as a designer, maker, installer. And it shows because everything about the Peanut 2 system is very well thought through from a maker's mindset. And if you caught my recent portable bench build video, then you'll have seen me use the Peanut 2 connectors to attach the shelf to the legs. That was the first time I'd ever used the system, by the way. So it really is easy to get to grips with. So what is the Peanut 2 system? Well, it's a jointing system. As woodworkers, as makers, we cut stuff up and we join it back together again. And there are lots of ways of achieving this with varying degrees of what I call invasiveness. I'll be expanding on this in a future video series about basic cabinet or carcass construction, but think of it as a little bit like surgery. You know, some procedures leave a horrible scar and others are totally invisible. And the Peanut 2 is firmly on the invisible spectrum. It's basically a self-clamping dowel, a deceptively simple idea that produces an immensely strong self-clamping joint that's completely hidden. Now, hidden fixings, knockdown fixings, on nothing new. I bought a Lamello Zeta P2 about a year ago specifically to be able to use the Clamex and Tenso connectors. I'm a big fan of the Clamex which produces a very strong joint with around 85 kilos per fitting. Uh, the Peanut 2 steps that up a notch with 100 kilos per fitting in MDF and 160 in plywood. That's per fitting as well, remember. So how does the system work? Well, it revolves around a tiny dowel connector, the Peanut, although I think it looks more like a mushroom, to be honest, uh, that's drilled into the edge of a board and a keyhole-shaped slot in the face of the board. That slot gradually changes depth along its length. So when the Peanut 2 locates in the slot and is slid into position, it's a very tight fitting indeed. Now, it's probably no surprise that the Peanut and Peanut 2 were designed with full-scale industrial CNC and nesting machines in mind, but this Peanut 2 jig and router system brings the same sort of precision to one-man band maker installers like us. Let's take a look at the jig and see what you get in the box. So the jig's a nice two-piece unit, body and fence, made, I think, from phenolic resin, and it comes flat-packed in a padded bag with space for everything you need, plus a few extras. And if you pick up the starter set, then you do get absolutely everything you need. I'm not gonna go through the details of how to set the jig up, but there are excellent videos over at Axminster and Intelligent Fixings, where you'll also find video guides to the various types of basic carcass or cabinet construction using the system. And there are links, of course, down in the video description below. The fence can be used for both 45 degree bevel joints and straight 90 degree butt joints and the fence fixings are slightly offset so that for the basic butt joints one side works for 16 to 25 mil boards but if you flip it around then the other side works for 25 mil thick boards or above. The top of the jig has this kind of fingerboard recess pattern where the router inserts locate for when you're cutting keyhole slots in the face and there are other inserts that locate the drilling guides for the peanut connectors in the edge of the board. As usual it's much harder to try and explain how this is used than to show you so I'll just get on and make a quick joint with the system and talk you through it as I go. So the uh, marking out such as it is revolves principally around just marking a center line. The two pieces are identical in width so I've just marked a center line on these and then I've extended that down onto the second workpiece and around onto the edge so I can put the peanut connectors in this edge and the actual slots, the keyhole slots, will go in this face. Uh, I'll do the slots first uh, and what I need to do is actually extend this bench top out a little bit so that the jig can sit on it comfortably uh, because the way I've got my MFT set up it doesn't, it's not particularly convenient on this sort of shelf thing so I'll just pop an extra little bit of work top on that uh, and then we can get it stuck in and get the slots cut. Okay, so uh, auxiliary sort of tabletop in to get a little bit of an overhang so we can use the jig comfortably. I'm gonna say that's only because of my, the way I've got my MFT set up. We're gonna do the uh, slots, the keyhole slots in the face of the board first. So we're just gonna get the jig up against that. We can butt the workpiece up against that and center it. There's a center line there and there's a little notch in the jig as well just to show where that needs to be. 
and I'm just using a couple of little bits of scrap under the jig. If you were doing a run of these, you could set these up permanently as sort of stop blocks. Uh, so we'll get that one in there. Get a clamp on it. Take another one in here. Oops. Double check. It's all pretty good. So we're going to put our little uh, inserts in. We don't need these to be very wide. And there's an easy to read scale here. There's a little notch in these where the end goes. And there's a very easy to read scale where you know the end is actually going to be. So we'll get those nice and even. Uh, I've already got the proprietary carbide, solid carbide router bit in the router. I've already set the depth stop. There's a depth marker on the jig for the router bit and the drill bit for doing the ends for the uh, peanuts in the end. Uh, and I think we're pretty much ready to go on this. We just need to remember to <laughs> only plunge down across and across again before you bring it out. Otherwise, you muck up the uh, you muck up the bit. But let's let's make these couple of cuts. That's pretty good. So now I've got to do the ones in the ends. So. Now there are slots in the side of the uh, jig for these kind of clamps. Actually, personally, I find it a little bit easier just to use my regular one handed quick clamps for these. And save for these clamps for keeping the jig in place. Let me just use these inserts that line up with a notch, and we're good to go. Alrighty, so that's all pretty good. And so then it's just a question of hammering in a couple of peanut connectors and then popping a couple of screws down. You can glue these in as well, of course. Put a couple of screws down through there. It's quite important as well that you don't drive these in too deeply. If you do, you can muck up the joints. So if you're not sort of dexterous enough to get a feel for when they're just biting, by all means, use the uh, Use the clutch on your drill. In fact, you can, especially in MDF or chipboard, use that as almost a fine adjuster, just a quarter turn extra, just to tighten things up a little bit more if that's what you need. But that should be that. So that's the outside face. That goes into there, slides across, and locks down very very tightly that's a, a really really snug fit and super strong yeah. oh. so that's an immensely strong joint with just two of these peanut connectors but where does this system fit into the general scheme of things i mean if you do fitted furniture and general carcass construction for a living then you probably have some method in place for this already and if you're happy with that using biscuits and screws or dowels or whatever then by all means stick with it 
But if that's what you're using and you're thinking about adding a Domino or a Maffel Dowler or the Lamello Zeta, particularly in order to get your hands on those knockdown fixings, well, this system is definitely worth taking a look at. I've thought for a long, long time that there's a huge space of void in the market for something that sits between a decent quality biscuit jointer, 250, 300 pounds, somewhere about, uh, and the Domino, which starts at around 750 pounds. And I think this Peanut 2 system might just be it. Now, it doesn't have the appeal, the sexiness of having a power cord attached, but the starter kit, with everything you need to get going, except for the router, obviously, is a hair under 400 pounds. Now, don't get me wrong, that's still a decent chunk of change, but it's almost half the price of a Domino or Dowler and less than a third of the price of the Zeta. The ongoing cost of the fittings is favourable as well, with the Peanut 2 connectors starting at around 15 pence a piece, and they only get cheaper as you buy in larger quantities. Compare that, say, to the Lamello Climax connectors that start around £1.30 per fitting, almost 10 times the cost, or the Domino Connect at almost £1.80 per fitting. These two also leave visible holes in your workpiece. And that's just me thinking about carcasses and cabinets. The size of this jig, 600mm across, is very much aimed at carcass construction, but there's also a mini jig in development. I've seen a prototype and it should be available very soon, and I'll be sure to let you know about that just as soon as I get my hands on it because the mini jig together with these tiny fittings really make them practical to use for things like mitered frames. In fact, they're so compact you could easily get two of these between the rails and style of a shaker style panel door with no clamping and no filling. As soon as it's pushed together, it'll be safe to handle. How about shelves and bookcases or face-to-face -face connections like I did with my bench build? That would also work for draw fascias or even for connecting carcasses together without visible fixings, no more hiding the screws behind the hinge plates. There are all kinds of options here, and honestly, if you already have a system in place that works for you, then that's fantastic. But you know what? There's no one perfect system for everybody or for everything. I already have a system in place that works for me. I've got the Domino, I've got the Lamello Zeta, but I can still see plenty of applications for the Peanut 2, and I'll definitely be exploring it further in future videos, so be sure to watch out for those. I'll leave it there for this week. I think this is a fascinating product and I want to thank the guys at Axe Mr. Tools for giving me the opportunity to take a look at the Peanut 2 system and also to Luke, creator of the system and founder of Intelligent Fixings for taking the time to talk me through the system and demonstrate it to me right here in the workshop. There are links in the video description down below, of course, to both Axe Mr. Tools and to Intelligent Fixings, so be sure to take a look for the additional information. But I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And as always, thanks so much to my Patreon pals and my YouTube members for their amazing support. I really appreciate the comments and the feedback on the behind the scenes videos, the exclusive content and weekly vlogs that are just my way of saying thanks so much to those who do provide member support. But that's it for this week, I think. Uh, thanks again for watching. As always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.